Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today, we are looking at the brand new, just released, commemorative edition of Salsa 100% Agave on Yeho. Yes. Uh, this is a rebranding for this year. This bottle, I mean, I haven't even seen the old bottle in years and years and years and years. It used to be an older style bottle. Um, this is called their Conmemorativo, their commemorative edition of Añejo. What's really cool about this bottle, down here in South Florida, it was $18.99. Yes, <laughs> under $20 for 100% Agave Añejo. That's kind of unheard of, but uh, we were able to grab a bottle, snag us a bottle, and here you go, 100% agave. They're making sure to really make that known. I mean, it's even embossed here on top of the glass. Um, 1873, made in Mexico. Salsa has been doing this a very long time. They have a huge product catalog and this is something that is just being released, the rebranding of this. Um, if you've ever seen this before, it was an older, older model, or older style. I'm wondering if it's the same juice inside. A lot of real cool glass embossments here. This is, it's like a horseshoe with an agave going on. Um, it says tequila salsa at the top. And then even 1879 here. Um, looking at the neck, it's still sealed. You're going to open it up with us today. Um, just really, really neat looking bottle. And again, a sub $20 Añejo, 100% agave. Some of the regulatory stuff on here coming out of NOM 1102. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's go on this journey together. We appreciate you being here. If you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. All right. So looking at the neck, it does have uh, this red band. It is looking a little bit more premium, to be honest. The rebranding of this. Uh, but again, this is a sub $20 bottle. I mean, I've seen it, I think, going for I started researching it um, after I got the bottle home. And I think in California, this goes for like 13, 14, 15 bucks. <laughs> so that's unheard of. Um, again, let's check this out. Let your bottles pop. Oh, yeah. Um, cork, I mean, that it's real wood there. It looks like the salsa crest underneath, maybe like a pina or something, but it has this red band. Uh, we got the cork right there. Let's pour this out and see what this is all about. If you've had this before, please put down in the comments below. I would love to hear what you think. And if you've had the older one, um, comment too. Let us know. All right. So taking a look here, it is a lightly golden color lightly golden color let's see if we could get some of the legs and tears in focus there um yeah slightly slightly sticky let's take a smell Ooh, okay that's interesting it's like it's kind of clean it smells a little soapy though to be honest that's definitely not your typical Añejo smell. Um, it definitely has a little, like, soapiness to it. That's interesting. Definitely kind of herby. Like, herbaceous, minty, even. Like, minty, parsley, like, fresh green is what I'm getting. Um, this is this is interesting right here. Um, definitely, again, it's 100% agave, but agave, I'm not really getting agave. Um... But it's this, this really fresh, bright, minty, spearmint, herby kind of soapy smell. Mm, but I'm not really getting a lot of gave in there. Let's take a sip. Mm. All right. <laughs> 
It's uh, mm. it's definitely that like soapy kind of flavor, um, like astringent. Uh, it's like it's kind of watery as well. A little peppery in there. Um, it goes down really easy, but it kind of goes down watery. It's not really like not a lot of body going on. Again, bringing it to my nose, that's such a, a unique smell, and especially in an añejo, like I'm not really getting wood. Um, more like, like a minty resin, maybe? I mean, it's aged. I'm not sure how old this is aged. I wouldn't imagine more than a year. Um, hmm, let's take another sip. Mmm. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. That's it's definitely got some alcohol in it. I'm not tasting any agave, to be completely honest. Um, it just kind of goes down watery. It's definitely a little at the end, like kind of leaves like a like an odd numbing feeling in my mouth. I'm not. Sh maybe did I get a bottle that's that that that's wrong? <laughs> I don't know if my mouth should be doing that. But it's definitely just kind of peppery, really thin. It's not thick at all. It's a very thin taste. It's a very watery kind of taste. And um, again, it's just like herbaceous, kind of earthy, but a very mellow kind of taste to it and watery. Let me take this last sip. Mm, mm. Yeah, like I said, it's just kind of like, like earthy, herby, vegetative, um, even like dr like a hay, um, like hayish and straw, kind of like a dried herb, a dried hay, a dried straw with a little bit of earth in there. I'm not tasting any agave in this. Um, this is really something unique and odd to my taste buds at the moment because again i'm thinking 100 percent agave i'm thinking añejo um and it really doesn't taste like any of that that's that's interesting and curious um i wonder if anybody out there has had this bottle if you have please share down in the comments below i'd love to see if maybe my taste buds are just off today did we get a a bad bottle or is this really how this tastes again sub 20 añejo um yeah this this is this is interesting it's light it's easy to drink but um yeah I'm, I'm curious to see if anybody else out there has had this i'd love to hear what you say down in the comments below all right well <laughs> that's it for this episode we appreciate you being here with us today if you have not done so already again please hit that like and subscribe as well as follow us on instagram at agave talk all right take care